I've decided to make some um, videos to show everybody how I grew my dogs. I have three Shih Tzu. They are all, I keep them all in long coat. They do not go to the groomer for haircuts. I groom them at home. Um, what I know, I learned mostly by um, researching how to take care of the Shih Tzu online, you know, in trial and error. I have things that I found have worked for my dogs. There are some things that don't work for my dogs. And I really want to just share that with everybody. Um, I wanted to introduce my three Shih Tzu. We have Ellie, who's hiding. Here's Miss Ellie. Sit. Good. Miss Ellie is three years old. She's about five pounds. She just never grew, and I was surprised. But now I think that it's really, it's really great. I can carry her around everywhere, and she doesn't mind. And she's, she's calm. She's, she's the little princess. She's happy sitting on a pillow, looking pretty. <laughs> That's what she'd like to be doing right now. So then we have Stewie. Stewie is two years old and he's about 13 and a half pounds. He's my big guy. He just started growing and didn't stop. And he's a lot of fun to be around. Okay. Lizzie, Lizzie is only about a year old. And she is I want to say six pounds. She hasn't grown that much either. She is the most difficult as far as grooming. Um, she is just suspicious and she's a little stubborn, but with a lot of love and patience and rewards, we're making progress, definitely making progress. So I think that some of the things that I would like to share, because I do, I do get a lot of questions when people see that I don't clip my dogs. Um, most of the feedback is positive and you know there's curiosity so I think that we are going to talk about the basics of grooming the Shih Tzu in full coat. It's a process that I do every day. I groom dogs twice a day every day. Um, I bathe them and I blow dry them. I want to say every week to two weeks. I try to shoot for two weeks. However, it depends on how dirty the dog gets. Um, essentially, they have hair like we do. They have hair. They have a double coat. So you have a top coat and an under coat. And it needs to be clean and maintained or the dog will get mats. Um, so we'll talk about my favorite grooming products, how I trim nails, um, paw pads around the bottom, what I do to clean the ears, how I make a top knot. Um, the top knot is essentially a little ponytail. We just call it a ponytail at home or pigtails. Uh, is used to keep the hair out of the dog's eyes as well as for to maintain the coat. Um, so yeah, so I think that since I'm very new at this, we'll just take it one step at a time and I hope that everybody enjoys it. Thank you.